Mr. Floyd got murdered, uh, brutally murdered by, um, you know, but in, 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 the, in, in the most incredibly uh, matter of fact way that I've ever seen a murder depicted, including a real life one or a uh, one in the cinema. I mean, it, 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 it was almost uh, uh, casual, actually. And it added to the horror uh, of the event, uh, where, where a very gentle man who put up no resistance, uh, who, who made a petty, did a petty crime, uh, made, made, allegedly did a pe petty crime, was hustled uh, out of his car, minding his own business, uh, and then uh, basically put on the sidewalk, uh, put, on, put in the road, and then murdered by a group of, of, uh, of um, Caucasian policemen uh, and, and the Chinese. Well, there was an Asian policeman also that took part. And, um, uh, and he stood guard. I mean, all these guys were compl complicit in the, uh, um, in fact, I don't know the nationalities of the others. So I just know that the, uh, uh, the guy who actually had, had his foot on the neck, I don't even remember the guy's name. I mean, uh, you know, he was Anglo-Saxon, but I don't know about the other two. I think they probably were also. But basically, um, uh, the video was very boring and very, for me, you know, very matter of fact. And almost you had to, you, you, you had to watch it a few times. It was so horrifying because it was so boring. You know, uh, you know, and he, he, even Mr. Floyd's death, he went out without a whimper. It was like, uh, even though he was saying, like, mama and... Uh, I can't breathe. You could hardly hear it, and they they had to use subtitles in order to be able to uh, show that he was that he was crying out because it wasn't it, you know his the voice. I don't know why it was so very very low on the video, uh, and um, so the whole thing had to be basically illustrated in order to show the horror of it. It had to be. It was in a diagrammatic video that was manufactured by the New York Times which was actually very, very instructive. And it showed the event from beginning to end and how it all happened. Now, I wanted to take this horrible thing and document it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a major uh, groundbreaking um, um, event in American history. And uh, Mr. Floyd, unfortunately for him, is, is, has become a martyr and he'll be, uh, he'll, he'll have a place in American history like Dr. King had uh, in a certain way, except uh, without the nobility of Dr. King. The only nobility Mr. Floyd's got is his only nobility as a man. Uh, you know, he, he certainly didn't have the eloquence of uh, Dr. King. And um, his death was, an, uh, you know, was kind of uh, eloquence, you know, in a certain way, uh, the coup de grace. Uh, and I wanted to, I wanted to, um, like paint, one thing painting can do is it can it can intensify, it can amplify, and it can demonstrate a, a, a something that happens instantaneously, uh, and um, it's something that movies, because they move, which is their unfortunate. Uh, you know, I mean, what's bad about movies? A friend of mine used to say is that movies. The trouble with movies is that they move, and. Um, the great thing about painting is that it doesn't move. And so you have to make it move inside the painting, which is part of the art. So basically what I've done is, is try to get everything, is crystallize everything into one horrible moment, which would be the moment of, um, of the actual um, crime. And um, in order to do this, I've done it, I had to manipulate the evidence, which, uh, you know, in the evidence, Mr. Floyd's head was facing the other way, for instance. Um, uh, the, the, uh, uh, I'm not sure where the, uh, where, where the uh, I think the, uh, the Asian policeman was, I think, standing to their left. Um, the police car was actually um, uh, much blacker. Uh, you know, I kind of made it more mundane. Um, and I took away the signs from it. Uh, the policeman, I... I, I stripped their uniforms down, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, basic stuff on their belt. And, uh, and uh, so basically what you get is the pressure of, 
of the cop's knee on Mr. Floyd's neck above Mr. Floyd in order to emphasize the barbarity is a perfect Cartesian circle of a hubcap, which is platonically mathematical and is symbolic of classicism and order. And it's there as a piece of irony.